टीवी रवि एंड द मैजिक पर्ल बीरा रवि रामू प्रेम वर अबाउट टू रिटर्न होम आफ्टर प्लेइंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम रवि एंड ऑफ प्लेइंग टुडे लेट्स गो होम यस रवि एंड ऑफ टुडे लेट्स गो होम ऑल द थ्री फ्रेंड्स एक्सेप्ट रवि वेंट बैक होम रवि वाज एन ऑर्फन एंड हैड नो होम ही यूज्ड टू डू पेटी वर्क फॉर हिज लिविंग he played during evening and slept at the night in a temple he went to the temple and spoke to the idol of goddess inside the temple goddess did you see that all my friends went home and they stay with their parents i have no parents and no shelter i ask you every day you don't even speak do as you wish saying so ravi went to sleep by then the goddess idol opened its eye and started to speak ravi who is that it's me the one you believed as your mother do you even speak yes ravi you are not an orphan this temple is your shelter and i am your mother ravi started to cry don't cry i'll give you a magic pearl with that you can predict future you can understand language of birds and animals you can even cure diseases you can be rich and people will respect you Goddess, I am not looking for such richness. I need your kindness. I'll earn for myself, but I'll see that this pearl helps other people. I am pleased by your selfishness, but no one should ever know about this pearl. Goddess turned into an idol. Ravi kept the pearl and slept. Next day, Ravi saw Prem walking in hurry. Where are you hurrying to? Don't you know? Bira met with an accident. He fell from his bike and broke his legs. He is unconscious and may not live to. When Prem and Ravi reached Bira's house, they saw Bira's mother crying. Few people had also gathered. Did you come to see Bira? He won't be alive. Cool down. Things will be all right. My son is in such a situation. How will I cool down? Where is Bira's father? He went to get a doctor. Can I have a look at Bira? He's lying like dead. Go and see. I'll go alone. Everyone stay here. Ravi entered the room. He placed the magic pearl on Bira and prayed to Goddess. Bira woke up as if from sleep. Ravi, when did you come? Ah, uh, I just remember I fell from bike. I'm hearing my mother crying. What happened? Cool down. I'll tell you what all happened. Bira's father came with doctor. By then, Ravi and Bira came out of the room. Who is the patient? He is the patient Bira. He had lost his legs. and was about to die now he seems to be fine ravi what magic did you do you saved my son i didn't do anything his legs were twisted i just pulled them and made all right whatever you say you have become our god ravi i had thought my son won't be alive you brought back my son tell me what you need money property just tell me you are like my father i don't want anything i just need bira's friendship if i don't get work some day Just help me by giving food to me. Ravi left the place. People in his village had already started to speak about this miracle. Ravi then started healing people from diseases and even from death, but never said anything about the magic pearl to anyone. One day, Mohan came running to Ravi. Ravi, a snake has bitten my son. Only you can save him. Let's go. Mohan took Ravi to his house. Mohan's wife was wailing. Be quiet. Ravi has come. All our problems will be solved now. Where is your son? He is in the room. Good. All of you stay here. Let me go alone there. Ravi went inside and closed the door. What does Ravi do inside? He doesn't even charge for anything. I'll have to check today from the window. I'll know his secret today. Mohan went towards the window side and saw Ravi with the magic pearl in his hands. He saw Ravi placing the magic pearl on the snake bite. Mohan's son got cured and got up. By then Mohan went from the window to the room and stood with others. Ravi and Mohan's son came outside. Mohan's wife hugged her son and took him into the room. I leave now. Sure. May God bless you. Mohan followed Ravi and as soon as Ravi stepped outside the house, Mohan closed Ravi's mouth and locked him in a room after tying a cloth around his mouth. Where is Ravi? I have prepared something for him. I have closed his mouth, tied his hands. and locked him up in the room why would you even do that shh 
Speak slowly. Ravi has a pearl. He uses that to heal people. Now on, I'll do that job. How will that benefit you? Ravi doesn't charge anything. I'll charge people for healing and we'll be rich within an year. How will you do that? I'll threaten Ravi to tell me how to use the pearl. Then I'll kill him and throw him into the village river tonight. Do whatever you want. If we can get huge money, why would I even say no? <laughs> Mohan's wife went in. Mohan secretly hid the room key and left. His son saw where Mohan kept the key. He had even heard the conversation between his parents. I never thought my father was so cruel. How can he kill a person who saved my life? Saying so, he opened the door. He untied the ropes and removed the cloth around Ravi's mouth. You have saved my life, but my father planned to kill you. Escape from here before he arrives. Ravi came to the temple and kept the magic pearl in front of the goddess. Mother, did you see the results of helping others? People should have a normal life. If I start saving people from death, I'll turn out to be an enemy of Yama. I don't need this pearl. Just give me sufficient strength to my arms, enough food to eat, peaceful sleep. I won't stay in this village. I'll go far away. Just give me the permission. Goddess came to life and opened her eyes. Ravi, this is a test for your integrity. And you have won. You could have earned a lot by misusing the magic pearl. I am pleased with your faith and your thought of earning by your work. I'll save you always. Your life will turn into a golden life. Bless you. Thank you, Goddess. Goddess became idle again. The magic pearl started to glow on the forehead of the Goddess. Then Ravi left the place never to be seen again. Children, the moral of the story is that success is always for the truth and integrity. Things will go wrong if process in the nature is challenged. To watch more videos, subscribe to our channel, Chikki TV.